Before the press conference is still the same, before you ask a question, you raise your hand, declare your identity, the house media you're working for, and then you ask your question. You saw all that we have many journalists, so everybody will be able to ask only one question. And then we go ahead. For my fellow Nigerian brother, no pigeon here, because we don't get translation for pigeon. <laughs> Abi? So please. We go do some grammatical English. So we go ask a proper question in English. When we go out, we go speak again our pigeon. Okay? Thank you and welcome to this press conference. Before we go for the questions and answer, I will ask the first question for the coach and then after for the player coach. Um, <clears throat> you did great during your last game by winning the host country, Ivory Coast, but you still need to make it for this match to secure your qualification and the first place. Is that your ambition for the for this tournament, for this first round of matches? Thank you for the question. You won a bit quite uh, far, but it's the past in the football, only the present. In the day, in the next day, you must put the, the focus. Of course, when the one team won or win, improve the confidence. You believe more happen all in the world when one team win and do the things well, they improve the confidence. But this more confidence only can allow us for put to the same or more focus, the same or more demand, the same or more commitment, and now relax. Because sometimes you have too much confidence to relax. Important match for us tomorrow. We want to reach the first position. You fight now for the first position in the group. We Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea Equatorial. Oh, the opposite, Guinea Equatorial and Cote d'Ivoire, uh, for fight for the first position, you must do our job, our work, our goal, our obligation. We want to win Guinea-Bissau. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Ken, you've met recently in Africa. Uh, they've already lost two games, but they still want to have at least the first win <coughs> in Afcon. How do you see this game against Bissau Guinea? Um, I think it's going to be an interesting game because um, they are a team that we are familiar with and um, you know some people said it was going to be an easy game but there is no easy game now especially in this tournament you know a lot of the big teams are really struggling and um, that goes to show how um, improved the African teams are now you know, so I think uh, we're going to approach the game with all seriousness and try to win that game. Uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Thank you. Question? Your thorough factor and performance analysis of your team and also your opponents and also the circumstances around, do you think you have a better chance to advance to the next round? Thank you. <coughs> Guinea was the team, the national team, beat us in ten match, in ten official match, in ten official match, he won six times, draw three, and lost one against Guinea Bissau. Is the first point. You know, it's difficult to win one match, even in this competition, like Kenneth said, 
because everybody say one surprise more, one surprise more, no surprise, guys. The football, the teams, grown up, they play better, they have more players, better players, they have a good optional work, and they can beat any team. Um, for that, you know our responsibility. Only you think about the next match, no other match, the next match. Because I know, and my players also, if we play and show our better performance, is to put the maximum focus, demand, commitment, our quality, capacity, intelligence, is not easy, any team beat us. If you don't do it, any team can beat us. Thank you. There, madam, on the back, green shirt. Against Ivory Coast, as one of the most experienced players in the squad, how important is it for you guys to not switch off and think because you've beaten a team like Ivory Coast? Remember what happened in Cameroon? Everyone thought you were going to win the Afghan. Um, thank you, uh, Oluwashina. Um, it's important for us not to, like I said, we, and like the coach said, to take um, the next game as it comes. I know we have a slogan of let's do it again, but we have um, games to play before, before the final. And, um, you know, this, um, if we go into that game thinking we're going to beat them, then there might be a surprise, you know. Uh, we've been working hard, we've watched, the, we've analyzed the team, you know, and uh, we know how they play, we know their, their strengths, and we're working towards that, you know, in training. We, we did um, great training yesterday, we're going to work also today, and um, the boys know how important it is, and we're going to approach that game with all seriousness to win. You see the one? Micro, you see, you see. Oh, yes, I you answer in Portuguese. You got translations. Okay. Yeah. Obrigado pela pergunta. E vindo de irmãos. Estou contente, evidentemente. Um, olha, a Guiné construiu há um tempo esta parte uma equipa mais forte com jogadores de qualidade. Eu acho que melhorou a qualidade a, jogador, a introdução destes jogadores na Guiné também não teve muita sorte nos jogos porque acabou por criar situações de golo por exemplo, rematou tantas vezes como a Costa de Marfim é verdade, mas a Costa de Marfim foi mais perigosa mas a Guiné Equatorial não sei se não criou tantas oportunidades como a Guiné e, e, e perdeu 4-2 o futebol tem isso muitas vezes é ingrato porque nós podemos jogar bem criar oportunidades de golo e acabar por perder Acho que a Guiné vale mais ou fez mais para merecer e é isso que, que, que nós sabemos. Que nós sabemos, é uma equipa que está, evidentemente, tem novos jogadores, está em construção, não está acabada, não está terminada, uh, mas mostrou mais ainda no segundo jogo que o 4-2 é exagerado, face, portanto, existiram erros, mas no futebol existem sempre erros. Foi exagerado e acho que a Guiné merecia mais. É isso que nós sabemos. Nós não, não olhamos só ao resultado. Olhamos ao processo e a, como, a, como a Guiné jogou. Nós vimos os dois jogos, uma ou duas vezes, e sabemos qual é a força da Guiné. Esperemos. Evidentemente que a Guiné joga bem, mas nós jogamos melhor e possamos ganhar. Good day, everyone. My name is Saida Falavik um, from Clare TV in Nigeria. My question goes to um, Kenneth Omero. Do you think um, the Super Eagles have uh, the chances of winning this um, AFCON since we are part of the squad that won it um, in 2013? Um, um, yes, I, I believe we have the the squad and the capacity to win to win the Afcon, but like I said, it starts 
from each game. So we have to focus on um, Guinea-Bissau, win that game, and then the next game until we get there. But I do believe we have the, the squad to do it. Go ahead. Check. Okay. Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is Stokes for Football Fans Tribe. I'm from Nigeria, and I'd like to ask a question to the coach. In Euro 2020, um, coach Roberto Mancini, who won the tournament, was able to play every player he called up in that tournament. So far, um, Bruno, Chidozi Awaziem, Rafael Oedika, and Ahmed Musa, including Kelechi and Nacho, have not had any game, game time yet. Is this something you'd like to achieve in this tournament, that every player you, calls up, you called up actually um, has game time? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Until now, didn't play Uzo, Ojo, Shidozi, Bruno, Onyedika, Ahmed, Kelechi, and Mofi. Eight players. I would like to put all of them. Even if the referee allowed me, I put 25 in the pitch, but he don't allow. The main point here, and the, my players know, is our team, is Super Eagles. Our responsibility is win the Guinea. No give chance for someone player, one player, because he deserves, because all of them deserve. They work very well in the camping, in this. It creates a good atmosphere. Did you see the, the, the happiness after goal? Everybody, the guys was in warm up, they catch together, the others go and, f and do a very good uh, part happiness together. They know the more important for us is the team. If I can, I believe in of them, of course, but need to choose 11. I believe in 25 players, but I need to choose 11. For tomorrow, I got to choose the best 11, in my opinion, okay, the others can think the other way, I expect, for beat Guinea-Bissau. My players know. If they go inside, they go for deserve. No, because ah, I don't play 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 20 minutes. They deserve to play, but I cannot replace more than five, cannot play more than 11. Only I can answer that way for you. But they know, everybody know can play. Everybody is staying the focus every time. For that, they do the same training, the same practice. All of them, the same practice, the same set piece, the same combinations, the same moments, the training. All of them. You start or don't start. Because I want the players ready for play. 90 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15, 20. What the team needs, in my opinion. Thank you. Oriva for Legit.ng. Okay, coach, um, tell us about um, possible... Um, the team, the um, injuries in camp um, is Hassan back. Are there other players um, injured and all that? Thank you. Uh, Yusuf didn't training until now. Only individual training. For tomorrow, cannot play. Sure. Okay. You see, Devon. Madame, vous avez, je vous ai vu lever la main. Euh, allez, venez là par ici devant. Some things that you know happens in house that obviously I cannot say uh, in the press conference, but. Um, the coach is um, really strict with us on, in respect of our concentration, you know, because uh, he wants us to be focused all the time and 
obviously we also have meetings between ourselves to um, really talk to us the way maybe the coach cannot talk to us, but we speak to ourselves and anyone who is not putting 100% will tell him we, it's possible we'll fight, but at the end of the day, you see that player giving more than you know he was giving before. And this is important uh, as a group and as a team. I understand that Alassane Yusuf uh, will not uh, feature for Nigeria tomorrow, but can you confirm if he has been ruled out of this tournament? Or let me simply say, uh, is there any chance for him to feature in this tournament again? Who player? Tell me. Asam. Asam. I answer before. Of course. Of course. He, tomorrow, no. He's starting with wild job, working the pitch. Not ready for the next match, but I hope if he, if he, if you feel. Of the our our report said he cannot play more, he come back to 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 Antwerp, yeah. But now he can play. But more important for us now, Assam, is the team for beat Guinea in this moment. I understand your question, your preoccupation, but for me, I have many players. One player for that I have 25. When he's out injured, I have others. Don't take care about the guy is out. Okay, take care. I speak with him, support him. Uh, for he recover well, but for the for our team is more important. The guys can play tomorrow. Uh, the Super Eagle uh, came with their team captain Ahmed Musa, uh, and Ahmed Musa is the most capped uh, Super Eagles uh, player, having played uh, 109 times. Do we expect him to play tomorrow, especially because potentially tomorrow could be Nigeria's last match? Thank you. Last match? <laughs> Tomorrow you go to see our first 11. And you go to see the, our place in the game. I cannot answer about that today. Even I cannot show for some for Guinea-Bissau, what I must do, what I go to do. Everybody can play. Is the, the key point. My players and sleep today, even. I don't give 11 today, only tomorrow. You go to bed, the room and think, I can play tomorrow, I can play tomorrow. I, can play. I try to convince them for that. They go there for think about our model, our, 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 our combinations, our set piece, our movement, our position, our defensive process, okay, for he spend some time before sleep for think about our job, our strategy, our plan. I hope they go for bedroom and think about that points and think I can play. If you do it, our spirit is very good. Uh, after the Cote d'Ivoire match, Victor Osman told us that he liked the formation you played in that game. So, are we are we going to see the same formation that Osman liked in this Guinea match? Thank you. This match different to other match. No one match is the same, is equal. Never, never. Depend the opponent. What I, our start, I have one plan, we have one model, okay? You play, normally play like you want to play. Okay, it's too, of course, in national team it's not easy to reach a big, big, big level organization because we haven't enough time for that. But you accumulate time until now for create one idea, one model with my players. I want to put some organization but only I can do if my players accept and feel comfortable with that organization. I speak about offensive and defensive organization. Until now, you try to do it. But for each match, you can change our strategy. Sometimes you can put in the match 80% of 
like you want to put in the match, sometimes 60%, depend on the opponent also. You play very well in the defensive process, I told, in the final of the match, but you can do better in the attack. You can manage more the ball, you can connect better in the counter-attack, you can control and dominate the game more with the ball. They know that, because I spoke with them, even is the our way. Now, I am sure, they listen me, I listen them. Because I do me individual meeting for ask them, tell me, you feel comfortable? How do you think you must do better? About you? About the team? Do you agree what you did? Before, the coach only said that the, the players must to do. No, no, it's share. I don't share the responsibility. I don't share the first 11. I don't ask Omeru, okay, tell me the 11 for tomorrow. Of course, never. But of course, I speak with them, my players, about the individual and collective performance assessment. For I take conclusions. Every time, not only the, this camping, every time. For I coordinate and for I choose the best way for everybody. If someone don't feel comfortable, I didn't choose the, this guy well. Because I choose the players, I was thinking they can follow our organization. It's okay? Thank you, Coach Pesero. Thank you, Kenes. And wish you all the best for the tomorrow.